Um, AFC North offense, start a quarterback, right? Yeah. Okay, welcome into the UCSS war room. We're going to put together the UCSS AFC North All All-Star right. team. We're going to name two quarterbacks. We need a backup. They right. get hurt a lot. Um, is this even a discussion, guys? No. No, I, I'm obviously Burrow's the starter, and I think Lamar's your backup. Until I, I Watson proves that. anything more, anybody got a disagreement with that? I mean, you, you said yesterday you might think that DW is, is the guy. Mm. You know what? I'm going to take Deshaun Watson. Well, you're outnumbered three to one. So, <laughs> so Lamar it is. <laughs> well, G, make the case real quick. Let's just make the case. It is an interesting discussion. Um, well, here, here's the thing. I, I don't know. The long term, uh, I think Deshaun Watson's play uh, is more comparable to uh, conducive to making a long term push or something. I don't. Lamar Jackson is electrifying. He should get his money. I'm on record saying that. But I don't think his play style is going to lend itself to being on the field all that much. I think Deshaun Watson is a better thrower than football. I think yeah. Deshaun Watson reads defenses better. I think Deshaun Watson has better awareness. He's not as electric as Lamar Jackson, but if you look at the two, he can do some of the things that Mark Lamar Jackson can do with his legs, but Lamar Jackson can't do at his best with, with Deshaun Watson. Can do Watson's with his a better thrower. Jackson's a better runner. Yeah, it yeah, depends no on what you value more. But what's interesting about this discussion is this is kind of what's going on in Baltimore right now. It is. Because Jackson, who represents himself, is telling the Ravens, do you think that Deshaun Watson is better than I am? Right. If the answer is and they think it's, no. They think it's yes because they ain't paid him yet. Well, the problem for Jackson, though, is then I, that's what I want. No, I, I want don't his agree bag. with that. I don't, yeah, think I, I don't know that that's true I either, think they're but, saying the Browns are lunatics. Uh, I think, they, following I that think they are. But, hold on, hold on. but Jackson's saying if that's the market, but that's Daniel, what the market but, is. But they're saying Daniel Jones won 40 Five he million. Ain't that. The Giants I, said they are not coming. I to don't. Him. It, it's not about what the Giants will give him. Daniel Jones is on record saying that's, that's what he okay. wants. Baker, wait, Baker Mayfield played it, but yeah. he talked his way out of town yeah. too. I, I, well, I don't think see. I'd say if we're really making a team like this. I if you know, I'm gonna assume Burrow's gonna be healthy, right? I could use Lamar as a gadget player. You could back up well, quarterback. It, yeah. Fourth and one. Yeah, <laughs> fourth and one. <laughs> yeah, you're, he's your fourth down but, quarterback. Speed. So but I if, think it's settled, though. That we, yeah. That's our quarterback. Right? But if Joe Burrow, so here's the thing. If Joe Burrow got hurt and you was really over this team, would you really say with Jamar Chase and T. Higgins, you wouldn't feel more no, comfortable that's a good point. with Deshaun Watson I'd throwing them Watson. in the football? I, I, if I knew Watson was going to be the player who was in Houston, I got to see it before I, yeah. uh, right now today, I'm still taking Lamar. Seven and five in six games is like a beacon. It's just like a yeah. flashing yeah. red caution light to me in my brain. All right. But that's, a, all... that's a great point that yeah. you made. I mean, typically you pick your backup by you want him to have the same skill set as your starter. Right. And Watson is closer to that than Jackson. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. So, so we but, are officially but I, locking I, the pick in. Lamar Jackson right. as QB2. I think Jason. we are. Yeah, Lock yeah, it in. Lock it in. Because it also gives defensive coordinators nightmares knowing that they could There's sneak him in at any point. Of plays for Jackson. That's right. And he's just as competent. He yeah. might come in too. All right. So quarterback is settled. Running backs, uh, one and two. I don't think this is a discussion. No, number two is a discussion. Yeah. I, I, for me, Nick is Chubb, clearly. Chubb's the starter. Obviously, yeah. Chubb's one. Uh, to me, it is debatable who it the is, number two yeah, back it is. Because I struggled with this. Because I'll tell you, Joe Mixon is probably the second best back in the league. That would be my guy. But yeah. Najee uh, is not that far behind. I, I went with Najee over Mixon, but it was close. I, I, but I'll tell you, an interesting guy uh, who, who, who nobody's going to mention because he's not a prolific runner is P. Ryan. The, P. Ryan. Is Samaj yeah, P. Ryan. I knew you'd say him. Because he is guy. a great, yeah. great path, uh, blocker. Yeah, he's a different. He's a blitz pickup yeah, guy. He gives you a wow. more diverse backfield, yes. right? Yes. And, and things that, you know, he can do things yes. that some of these other guys can't. Najee Harris can catch the ball. That's why I want Najee. He well, Mixon the, can too. But do you think he catches the ball better than Najee I think, Harris? I think Mixon's better than Najee. I'm going Mixon. I think Mixon's better than Najee. Okay, then I got I to gotta break rank here as well, the two, owner. Two. I don't want to cast the, the, the deciding. Because if I, if I go with We you, could go to the fans for the tiebreaker well, between Mixon and, and Najee. See, the, the name I had on my sheet was Najee Harris. Najee. Okay. So I, let's I, go to the fans for the tiebreaker. I, I, I said Najee Harris, too. You will? So, yeah, yeah. I, that's what so I said. Go to yeah. the fans for the tiebreaker so for the second running Najee back. Or yeah, Mixon. ask the fans in the five-minute YouTube yeah. poll. Nobody Harris, with J.K. Dobbins. I oh, thought no, about I, Dobbins, too. 
I actually think he has the most upside of all these. I, I agree. do too, but I don't trust his but he's availability. Been a lot. I don't yes. like his swollen knee. Yeah, yeah I know. That's why all right. While we go to the fans for that one, poll, usually they're ninety seconds or yeah, it is. Yeah. What is it? Five minutes. It's, it's about... a sixty-second poll. We are debating the fullback okay. on this team. No, we're going to yeah, I, did, I saw that you had that on there. Who runs a fullback? I'll, I'll call Samaj P. Ryan my fullback. That, that was the answer I was hoping you guys I mean, yeah. I, I want Samaj P. Ryan on this team one way or the other. I was there going to make an H-back and be, put Fryfog or not, what's his name? Uh, Fry move. move. Fry I was going to move him to H-back because he's not yeah. going to be over he, Andrews. Yeah, back. but he'd be my number two tight end. No, I've got Njoku as number two. I got Njoku. Well, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, we're we're ahead save that for a second. Yeah. Anthony, let's go to the 60-second poll. What's the final results? Najee Harris wow. was 71% of the vote. 71. Wow, 71. That's a bad job. Wow. He was a side last year. We're going to make executive decision. Uh, it's not, not 71. It was 52%. So. Oh, oh so it's very close. 52 then. 47. And we're going to put Samaji P. Ryan as our fullback. Okay, that's fine. And that'll lead us. And just so we get the graphic up so everyone can see here. S A M. There we go. By the Even way, kudos, kudos to Anthony and the whole graphics team back there. Yeah. That's a nice, sharp, updated, clean look. And look how yeah. quickly it happens when tag board works. Yeah, like, it's we unbelievable. Got a full, that's we got good. a full updated. Backfield. Also, Patrick Ricard, the Ravens fullback, is actually a really damn good fullback he in his is. own right. But yeah, this I is mean, how he went for we're, the we're, all, we're all AFC Fullbacks North have gone the way backfield. of uh, straight on toe kickers. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. You just don't see them anymore. They're foot kickers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's Remember easy. that? that oh, was yeah. Tony Franklin was, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, it's time okay. for our receivers yeah. and this was This tight is going to be interesting. I can't wait to see where you guys go. Chase is on it. Obviously, one. Jamar Jamar Everyone one. agree with yes. Chase is yes. number one. Uh, I have Cooper as number two over I, T. Higgins. I got Anybody Higgins. I had Higgins. I got Higgins. Higgins. Okay. Doesn't matter. Higgins is on the team. Yeah. Then every you guys think Cooper's at least a three. Yes. I think I Cooper's hope. three. Cooper's so the number four is going to be really interesting. Who do you got? Uh, let me just think about it for a minute. So we, our choices are between we've got Deontay Johnson. We got the kid. Man. What's his name with the Steelers? Well, not to give his name. George Pickens. George yeah, Pickens. Pickens. Who's Baltimore's got Rashad Bateman, he might who's be hurt all last the year. One, the, the in a, one. A year or two. Tyler Boyd is a veteran. Nobody's going to mention DPJ as uh, a possible no, fourth? No. Because no. I think now, he was fourth in receiving yards. I would make the argument. In the Deont conference. I mean, uh, Deontay it's Johnson. Deontay Johnson. He'd be my three. Well, here's Cooper the one would thing I would four. argue, though, about. Over Pickens. So you, you would take him over now, right here's now. The only, here's the only thing I would argue. He's got to have touchdowns. Though, for right? Tyler Boyd over any of these other guys. Even though I think Deontay Johnson and Pickens are more talented than Boyd. But Boyd is a veteran, has great hands, and he's a slot receiver. Yeah. I just I, I love Johnson. So I'm voting for, for I don't know Boyd, how you have 86 catches and zero touchdowns. Part of that's on quarterback play. Uh, all yeah, of I, I quarterback. Agree. He got tackled four times inside the five yard line. I know he way. did, which means he's getting caught a lot from behind. I'm going Boyd. I'm going Deontay Johnson. I I will stick to it. Deontay Johnson, go back and look when Ben Roethlisberger was a quarterback. He was a completely different receiver. So we're, I got we're in agreement Johnson. with Chase, Higgins, and Cooper. Yes. yes. It looks like Johnson is probably the fourth. We've got two for Johnson, and I I actually went with DPJ. Well, make you make your case for DPJ. Well, so I did. I think he's fourth in the in the conference in receiving yards. Convincing argument that he's not definitely not better than those yeah. guys. I mean, no, I, would, I mean obviously in Cincinnati yeah. there's a triumphant, so those numbers are split. If, right. I mean, I would. What even, was interesting to me was. Baltimore, I didn't, I didn't even consider anybody on the No, list. their best no. receiver is Bateman, and he's he was their, hurt all year. Yeah. 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 Well, I think Andrews is their best Well, yeah, there. right. But so, speaking of enough. tight end, Andrews is the starter. Yeah, Andrews was a slam dunk starter. Yeah. I had Njoku. I did, too. I would go with Fryer Muth as the, as the two, but I, I think it's, you know. I, I, I was leaning to Njoku, could be, could be talked to go either way. But I think Fryer Muth has more upside. I mean, Njoku's been in the league a while. He is what he is. He was 21 when he got in. If, if. For 20, Njoku is the third highest paid tight end and can't be in the top two in his division. That's troublesome. Yeah, you it's just troublesome. Now it is a division full of well, elite they, tight ends. Yeah, excellent but, tight. I don't but know if the I'd top say two tight ends aren't even in this division, right? In Kittle and Kelsey and Kelsey. So, yeah. you know, it's it's that's why I just think that Njoku I actually is think going Andrews is better than Kittle, but I think Njoku is going to continue yeah. to trend up. And I think that Deshaun Watson is going to really look at him next year as his safety valve on a lot of different formations. I and think Frymuth has shown himself to be much more reliable than Njoku. What were the catch numbers? I didn't look these stats up, but I, I, I in my mind, they're very, very close. So Steve Pope and Joku 27 while I get Fire Moose numbers in front of me. I had Njoku on my on my fantasy team and in general I was pretty happy. Yeah, with he, what he, he did was on my team. So for comparison's sake, just the numbers here. 
Friar Muth had 63 receptions, 732 yards, and two touchdowns while playing with Kenny Pickett and Mitch Trubisky. Very yeah. close. Yeah, so I, I, yeah, I, you, can Very give, close. you can give him the cl- – And Friar Muth is only in his second year. Yeah. I, I still say Njoku. Okay. But, I mean, and, you're in, and, and you're who? Njoku. So Njoku I mean, it is. No point I going to the fans because our my... fans will be biased about it. So Yeah, I know. No, well, Njoku had three votes anyway, right? Bull, you yeah, yeah. yeah. No, fine, yeah. that's fine. I mean, I do think Njoku and Friermuth are pretty interchangeable. Yes. Yeah. I think they're very similar guys. All right, on the offensive line, as I mentioned, my only contribution is Joel Batonio, which is a slam dunk anyhow. He's the best guard in the conference. Yeah. Um, the problem in this, in this division, in the weakest position in this division is tackle. They yeah, really are not is. good. The, the Browns tackles are, are average or below. The Bengals tack- tackles are average or below. And the Steelers tackles are average or below. Ronnie Stanley the, and uh, Stanley's, uh, is pretty good, but he didn't have a he didn't have a very good year according to PFF. Oh, he did. And their other tackle, whose name's now escaping me, Morgan Moses. He actually had a pretty good year, so I probably put like there's probably there are like five good guards. We might be better off starting some of the guards. Okay, go go with the other guard slot. Who else do you want? Because I'd go with, I'd go with Wyatt Teller at right tackle, but um, see, I, I Kevin Zeitler of the Ravens and Alex Kappa of the Bengals are. Both really good as well. But I would start Teller and I would start hey, right, guard. Antonio at guard. Teller, I don't think Teller had a very good year. No, I know he, he was a Pro Bowl. A step back. He was hurt. He still had the second or third highest PFF grade of guards in this division. Did he really? Yeah. Uh, uh, he did take a step back. I would I would But I'm not basing it only on last year. Right. I think right. you gotta base it, you know, I mean you base it however you want. I'm basing it on last year. Well, here's what I'm I, I'm basing it uh, this isn't a team that's gonna play a game in the past. My team's going to play 2023. I'm projecting next year. Yeah. Well, and th- with Teller trending down, my fear is that's going to continue. I wonder how much the calf lingered all year because yeah, he was yeah. he was an absolute rock. Lower extremity for yeah. an offensive line is it's like poison. Ever, ever. Like, you're not going to get the push. What, you're not going to get the bend. You're going to get beat on so pass rush. So, let's give rush. him the benefit of the doubt. What, what I would do is have Teller, and Bito- Teller and Batonio at the guards. I'd have Tyler Lindebaum, the I think yeah. he's either a rookie or a second year guy with the Ravens, Ravens center. center. Yeah. I'd go with I'd go with uh, what's his name? Morgan Moses or the other guy. Stanley. Stanley, Stanley yeah. at, at one tackle and maybe go with both of those guys to tackle. Maybe take Alex Cap of the Bengals, who was a really good guard, and put him at right tackle but if he could play you it. You know what's messed up? People don't Ethan Poachers was rated by PFF the third best center. Right after Jason Kelsey. Where was Linderbaum? He had in to be the up league. there, too. Tyler Linderbaum was six. Yeah, but I'd, he played the whole season, didn't he? The other thing is, oh, we Post don't know did. that he's a free agent. Missed Poaches. a couple games. Yeah, yeah. Poaches, Poaches missed happy. a couple games. I mean, but right. he, but but Ethan Poaches has a much better uh, uh, pass block Poaches, grade. Poaches pulled a Joe Flacco. Yeah, I mean, he. I mean, he. he I hear you. He's paid, isn't he? he would, I, I just, I'll take the sixth guy who's in his second year in the league. Over he's a the third guy who he's missed some time. He's the uh, well, first is, is young yeah. too, but I think that there's probably a little bit more of a track record yeah. with your guy. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. I think so. So who's their center? He, you know his pass block grade. The, and the, the, Pochich the, is a free agent, so you can't count him right Linder, now. Yeah. Linderbaum. would be like putting Kareem Hunt on the two. We're not I, putting Kareem Hunt. I don't like – so Ethan, he did play about 300 more snaps than Ethan Poaches. Yeah, that's a big difference. But his pass blocking grade is a 53. He was a Ooh. rookie. Ooh. 53 is a 53. How, what, what was Poachich is, is 71.5. What was but how much run- does PFF put into consideration that the Ravens passing offense, especially the second half of the year with Tyler Huntley, was essentially non-existent? Uh, did, and I'm, and I'm, I'm just asking how. What was Linderbaum's run, pass, uh, run blocking grade? 84.2. Really uh, it was pretty sensational. good. Okay, you want to go with him? Run block for Ethan Poachich is, is a 79.1. Still good. Still very good. Very good. But again, it'd be but like Poach is a free line. agent, so I don't it's think we a can consider it. It's a yeah. throw. It, it, I wouldn't. It don't matter. Okay. So mm-hmm. what have we said? I say we go with the Ravens tackles and center and the Browns guards. That's yep, that's, that's my vote. I think that's about it. Interesting right, so that the, 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 the team that here. won the division doesn't have anybody Anyone. on the offensive line. No, uh, Kappa, but they have the best skill position, gee, top yeah. to bottom. Kappa was the only really good player on their line, and he's not as good as Teller and Batonio. Yeah. Yeah, that the, so that wide receiver. The rest of their line is not is just mediocre. All right, so I think that that that's our team. That wraps up the uh, the exercise. I wonder how that would compare against other teams and other divisions. 